I'm joined now inside the Ralston Arena by a Stars head coach, Cody Chuck for Coach's Comments. And obviously, Coach, we're, we're here at another loss, and obviously not the results you guys wanted out there against Omaha. Um, just seemed like the offense couldn't really get clicking until the third. Uh, what what really caused them to struggle as much as they did? Uh, to be honest, like my feeling is that they were willing to out-compete us, be first to every puck, to out-physical us, um, you know, right right from the get-go. There were guys uh, in our lineup that um, didn't show up or weren't willing to uh, put their bodies on the line um, to get the result that we wanted. And, you know, ultimately it's... Uh, that's the frustrating thing. Uh, with that being said, I thought we had guys that, that uh, had good games, that, that did show up, that were willing to play the right way, that were willing to uh, play the physical game that, that this one was, and, uh, but there were too many passengers. Tonight it also uh, seemed like a couple of those guys that you mentioned that did seem to strike a positive impact out there. Ross Mitten, one of them, um, scoring uh, there in the third is first with you guys. Seemed like he was playing with that edge with the body uh, a lot. Um, Ryan Carmichael, I know, is getting a lot of ice time out there. Looks like he's starting to put together uh, some some decent performances. And uh, just I know those are two of the newer guys, but uh, you know I know you've talked about how these guys are all battling to make an impression here down the stretch, but. Uh, you know, what kind of tone do you see from them? Uh, not just from them, but how important it is, is it for these new guys to continue doing what they're doing despite being in a situation where right now things aren't going the way you want them? I would have taken um, 13, 12, 13 Ross Mittens tonight in, in an absolute heartbeat. Um, you know, I think Carmichael, Jordy Power, two guys on the back end that were engaged uh, all night long. Um, you know, I mean, ultimately, we, we've talked a lot about um, setting a culture and, and um, an identity of, of this group going forward throughout the rest of this year and, and you know, ultimately leading into next year. And, um, you know, it's a shame that it's, it's the new guys that are driving the culture um, with uh, still the number of guys that we have that have been here all year and, and some even beyond all year so um, credit to those new guys uh, to buy in to commit to it um, and uh, they've been impressive and not just tonight so uh, like I said Ross uh, there's a history of Ross and, and the Omaha Lancers um, I'm not going to get into it but there was probably one guy on our team that had the right to be a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, scared's not the right word, but but obviously tentative and nervous going into this game. And, and he was the only one that uh, probably had that right. But we had way too many guys that were tentative and nervous. Now, last question here for you, Coach. Uh, it's another long road trip next week going on to take on Youngstown. Uh, you know, it's it's a chance here kind of to reset a little bit. Uh, you know, it's been road games the last couple of times, but... You know, it's a long trip out and a long trip back. And, again, you know, I, I know we ask this question a lot, but what kind of adjustments do you want to see, um, you know, just moving forward down the stretch? We can't expect it to be easy. And that was my message to the group after this game is it, it doesn't get any easier. The USHL is uh, one of, if not the best, junior hockey league. It's a privilege to play in this league. Um, to treat it like uh, you're entitled to it or uh, that it's going to be easy is uh, it's a shame and it's 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 frustrating. Um, it's uh, it doesn't get any easier from this point. You, you know, you go to college and the college staff is from day one trying to out recruit you to make their team better. That's their job. There's a handful or more guys that are trying to take your job on a daily basis. And ultimately, your life in college is dependent on how much you're playing. You know, it's, you could be at a great school um, in a great dorm with the best teammates, but if you're not on the ice and you're not contributing, life's always uh, a little less exciting and fun. And from there, you go to pro hockey where um, you're playing for your livelihood or you're playing to support your family. And uh, there's some guys that, that play the sport and expect it to come to them, and things don't just come to you. And, 
we need more guys that are willing to work uh, on a daily basis uh, to earn the right not only to put on the Stars jersey, but earn the right to play in this league and earn the right to have the next opportunity. All right, Coach, as always, we appreciate the time, and we look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you.